Oh, well, well, what have we here? Some loot has arrived from War Games Emporium in Sheffield. Uh, shout out to them. Uh, I've got these. I know what they are. In fact, let's open them. Slice them open off camera. <coughs> so, despite vowing never to do <laughs> hussars again, here we have some Austrian hussars. So yeah, I got these from War Games Emporium. They're very bargain price, sixteen pound forty something. Uh, it might be a while before you see this video because I think I'm going to do a complete unboxing, start to finish, get them all painted. So start off. Let's go to the painting bench um, and have a look what you get in the box. Very quickly, I just got out the information sheet, so we'll have a look at this. Uh, clearly, I'm going to have to paint them ones, aren't I? Because I just love them colours. Uh, I think Francesco Tau actually painted them. Uh, so I can't hope to match his level of competence at painting, but I'll have a go. They look very nice, don't they? Yes, I've only got the one box. So next thing, I'll show you the sprues and I'll glue them all together. In the box you get one command sprue. Four sprues of horses, four sprues of riders. So let's have a look at this. I think I can't get the light a bit better. Let's look at all that. All that braiding. <laughs> I'm sure these are going to destroy me. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. That's that's actually embossed on there. That's good. So you get your command horses. Nice little musket. Like that. A few different heads. Commander's head. Quite nice. So, yeah. Quite like these. Uh, these bits, these glue onto the horses and they've got the embossed symbols, which is good news for me because I can't paint them, hand paint them, I just ain't got the skills. So you get, that's where they'll go, just on that bit there. You get some of these horses, these are the exact same ones that you get in the other Austrian cavalry box set. And then you get these riders. There's a few different head options, some carbines, lovely, more lace, more pleases. <laughs> so you get more leg options, so they are very slightly different so I'll have to investigate who goes where, nice embossed sabotage. So you get four of these. So let's glue them all together and see what they look like. So here they are all glued together. As you see, half of them are desperately trying to fall off the horses. This took some doing because they just kept all falling over. Because For a change, I haven't glued the riders to the horse because there's so much detail on these, I can't do it. But this was uh, what usually happened. driving insane. Anyway, don't need to be on the horse. Let's have a look. So you get this guy. This is the, the guy with the uh, carbine in his arm. Uh, and I'm going to stick him on a command base. And then I did this guy up as well to go next to him on the command base. So that will go on the light cavalry brigade commander's base. Uh, and then The officer sculpt, very nice it is indeed. But as you can see, there is so much detail that I couldn't, I couldn't just couldn't glue this to the horse, so I would never have been able to get in and do most of that. Uh, and everyone else has got these poses. 
Leave a sword like that. All the bits and pieces on. Or just with a sword just over his shoulder like that. Um, and then that's the embossed insignia glued to the horses. So that fits, they fit right on very nicely. Oh, I need to do a bit of filing there. So I'm going to go and get all these undercoated now uh, and painted up. So next time you see them, they should all be done and dusted. So all the hussars are painted now, but I just wanted to quickly show you these two before I show you the other 12. Uh, I'm just waiting for basing material for the other 12. So I've painted these guys up as Kaiser Franz. Uh, the other 12 are Hessen Homburg, which I think just about everybody's going to paint. Uh, but these are going on a command base with the Light Cavalry Brigade Commander. So I, I thought I could do these a bit different. Um, so yeah, on Perry's pamphlet, if you look on that, they look black. Um, you, if you did watch my last video, you'll see what I mean. Uh, but they're actually listed as, I think it's Midnight Blue they're listed as. So I've just, I had them painted as black and I've just gone back over and... and made them uh, with a GW Cantor blue and just darken that down so you can see all the braiding there um, on the police these symbols are actually embossed uh, I think I showed it in the sprue video sprue part of this video uh, so that makes it a lot easier to paint otherwise I, I think I'd have struggled then you've got all the braiding on the front of the jacket uh, now, I didn't get my usual hatred of painting Azars when I was doing these because the detail does really stand out and it does make them a little bit easier to paint. Certainly the faces, uh, like on the British Azars, the faces have hardly got any detail, but these, there's loads and it was quite easy to pick out. So I've done this guy with a sword down by his side. I've done this guy with the cavalry carbine just for some different poses because I didn't really want this pose in a unit. Uh, but I thought he looked quite nice on the command stand. Uh, I'm quite pleased with the way these have turned out, to be fair. Uh, so they're just going to go next to each other like that. Have a bit of a waffle as they're riding along. General will go in front of them or something. Scenic at the base. And they should look quite nice indeed. And a bit different. Because uh, it will break up all the white. So... As soon as I get the basin materials for the Hessen Homburg, I will uh, I'll get them out and I will finish wrap this video up. And here we have the finely finished unit. That one. Uh, so finally got them finished. This is them in all their glory. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put them. On the desk and do a bit of a flyby as well uh, and then bring a couple forward for you to have a quick look at uh, as i said i think in the previous video i should have really watched it before i started talking about this one but never mind uh yeah the, not as bad to paint as i thought they'd be uh, the details really quite well pronounced uh, i got on with them all right i discovered so there are two different um legs options on the sprue uh, and if you already know this, I'm not trying to teach you to suck eggs or anything. But what I found out from my research is the guys, the ones that I've done them in, uh, that's like the full dress uniform. Uh, and the ones with the buttons down the side, that would have been campaign dress and they would have been grey. Uh, with grey buttons on, grey cloth cover buttons. So I decided I wanted them to have the bright red trousers, so I went with the full dress uniform uh, so let me pop these on the table and we'll do a flyby uh, and i'll wrap this video up let me just let me come back to the front there you go so in time honored fashion here is a flyby that's a bit annoying isn't it? there we go <laughs> Flyby to the front. I'll spin them around and do a flyby to the back. I'll bring a couple out for you to look at. And the backs of them. 
I did all the horses the same brown colour, except for the musician and the officer. I gave him a black horse because, you know, he's an officer, he can do what he wants, really. Uh, and I've now come up with a speed painting method for painting brown horses. Uh, so if I get time, I'll do a video of that if anyone's interested. I'll break up a forward and quickly tell you what paints I use. So I'm just going to go through the green, really, that I use. Because um, I'll do the brown on the painting video. So for the green, I mostly used, or I did use, where are we? Olive green from Vallejo. Uh, then I put a dark tone wash over that. After the ink, I went back over with the olive green, highlighted. And then I did a very final highlight of this GW Moot Green, just on the extreme edges. So the officer has silver braiding, as opposed to gold. At least for this regiment. I don't know about the other regiments, I haven't done any research on them. I, I don't think I'll be doing another one. Although, they, as I say, they weren't as bad to paint as I thought they'd be. Uh, <clears throat> I think they, excuse me, I think they came out quite nice in the end. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, now, normally, I would have put the musician uh, on the same sprue as the officer. But I've decided, because I've been watching Grana Prego's videos, if I put the musician separately, I can then run them as two separate squadrons rather than one. Uh, and that's pretty much the only reason I did that. And then, obviously, when they're, uh, they're going to be ranked up, the officer goes, the, the bugler goes in the front rank alongside the officer that, like that. So there you have it. Uh, I'll just very quickly show you the base. Uh, that is Geek Gaming Scenics Ready Base Mix, and then I've just applied a gazillion tufts all over it as I normally do. Um, so there you have it, a really good box set. I've done, I say, I've done a couple of these guys up, so they're going to go on a command base. Uh, and that is the full regiment right there. Really great box set, well worth getting. Uh, so I might be tempted to get another one, I'll just have to see how I get on with the rest of the Austrians. Anyway, I've really, really waffled on too long in this video. It's only meant to be a couple of, like, five, ten minutes. It's, it's gone way over that. So, hope all your projects are going well. If you're thinking of getting one of these boxes, I would advise, yes, get one. They're great. The detail's great. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.